Hey fifth grade, today we're gonna do a quick, fun, one day, easy printmaking project. Um, printmaking is an art form where you create your piece on one thing and then transfer it over to something else, usually through the use of pressure. Now today we are going to be making mono prints. Mono means one. Um, so usually with printmaking, you make it and you can make it over and over and over again. Not so with mono prints. Each one we make is going to be unique and we've got kind of a fun and interesting process for this. So let me show you how we're going to do it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making mono prints using CDs. So this is what a one that I've worked on before looks like. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of paper. You need to write your name on the back of it and then flip it over so that you cannot see it. You're going to need a sponge, Q-tip. A CD, a baby wipe, a paper towel, and some paint. Ooh, I'll paint. All right, so the way that we do this, our papers need to be off to the side. We're first going to be working on the CD. So to apply the paint to the CD, we're going to be using a sponge rather than a brush. Um, and the motion that we want is we want to be dabbing with our sponge, we don't wanna be smearing with our sponge. So when I hold it, I'm gonna pick a side that I wanna hold it on, and that's the side that I'm always gonna hold it on and not get paint on that side. All right, so I can spread out a little bit of paint there, and what I wanna to do to get it on is kinda of do that. So I don't want like big old globs of paint, so I want it to evenly coat my sponge. Then. I'm gonna dab it onto my CD. Notice how I'm dabbing, not sliding, okay? Okay, so I can dab, 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 dab. I could even say maybe I wanna throw a different color on there. I can do that, it's fine. I can mix and blend the colors. There's not enough paint on here to where I'm super concerned. Like I said, it's one day project. But I always, I never want to get a big glob like this, like on here, because then that's really annoying and I have to sit there and dab it for a million years to get it to spread out. Okay, so I want to fully coat my CD here. So I got it coated with the paint. Then I can use my handy dandy Q-tip here and I can draw designs in it, however my heart so desires. So what I want to do is I want to firmly press my Q-tip down because if I just barely press, that's not going to work. So you can do whatever designs, patterns that you want. I'm just gonna kind of put some stuff here in the CD. So basically I'm just taking the paint that I put on off, but selectively. So now I've got a nice little design and now it's the printmaking portion. I'm going to take this, I'm gonna flip it onto my paper and I'm gonna press it down. And I want to use a decent amount of pressure here. So I'm gonna kind of press all over and then peel it up, okay? Now I noticed I probably didn't press hard enough in the middle because I got a ghost mark there. If that happens to you, that is okay. We're going to keep, we're gonna re-ink and go again, okay? So you can even press down a second time and you'll get a even lighter ghost print. That one's probably way too light. Um, it just depends on how heavy you put your paint on. So you're gonna fill up your whole paper with these little CD prints. So to clean it so that you can do it again, you're gonna take your baby wipe. You're gonna wipe it off, okay? So now I'm only giving you one baby wipe. So don't ask me for another one. So you get one. So if you still have a lot of paint left on here after you print it, because you use a lot of paint, print it another time. It's called a ghost print. Do it a second time, okay? Then you can use paper towel to kind of dry it off and then you're free to go again.